What is up, Night Runners? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. We're here today with a brand new series I'm going to start. We'll try to get at least a handful of videos cooked for this one. I'm going to take a new, to me, Sanis Levisa. Levisa? Levista? Asta La Vista, Sanis baby. And we're going to take it from stock to not. I'm going to fully mod it. And I'm going to buy the worst example of it that I can in the game. Highest mileage, rod knock, blown engine, you name it. Like, whatever the auction's got for sale, we're going to do that. And just to see if that really makes a difference. Does mileage matter? See if we can blow it up. I don't know. Like, I've learned a lot about this game. There's tons and tons of stuff. And so, for a new player or somebody that just wants more on the game, instead of me touching all the highlights and all the notes... Let's just play it like we're a new player, but we've already got enough money to ball out of control, so let's do that instead. As you can see, this is my old one, my original one. It's 47 and 3. That number on the record is the main reason I want to do this. Because the three losses came early when I didn't know what I was doing, and now that I know what I'm doing, I want a chassis with a perfect win record. So let's go find a car. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into, and we're going to just build it up, baby. You'll see that we got a cool livery on this one. My buddy Splash put that together for us. Got a little sharky boy, the Orca. Not shark. An Orca. And it's got Corn Nut Crew and stuff on it. It's pretty sick. And I've got another livery for the new car. So, anyway, we're going to go up to the computer. Let's see what they've got in the auction for us. Like I told you guys, I want to buy the worst example in the auction that I possibly can. I don't know what that's going to look like. If they've got an automatic, I might even just buy an auto just for the sake of doing it because I don't have an automatic. I've never driven one. And the guys are always talking stuff like when we call them for the races. They're like, oh, at least this is an automatic or at least it's a manual. Man, I'll buy an auto. I'll wax you guys an auto. So our first one on the list is the cheapest. It is a grade one, the worst grade of all the cars. Empty tank, significant oil leak. That's not in the demo. Option two Engine misfire, full tank of fuel. Not bad. Uh, this has got almost 400,000 kilometers on it. This has got 318. But that engine misfire, I think, is a worse trait. So, so far, that's the worst example we've seen in the list. We can't buy those. That's too new. We can't buy that one. That one's just grade two. Got some mileage, but no problems. Okay, uh, so we've only really got three cars to choose from right now, uh, tonight, when I'm starting this series. And so under the circumstances, let's go ahead and buy the one with the engine misfire. That sounds pretty toxic. I, uh, it's, it's junk out the door. I don't know why we're paying this much for it, but let's see what's up. Okay, so we'll, we'll take a look, see what we, what we see. Looks pretty stock all the way around. No aftermarket parts anywhere that I can see. Yep, this is the one. Car's manual transmission cannot be changed. I didn't see anything else that was an automatic out of the three options. So we're going to take it in. And uh, let's go down to our garage and uh, start tuning it up for you guys. All right. We got to go drive it like this. We got to go drive it with the engine misfire. This car is low engine health. Performance will be slower. Are you sure you want to exit? Yo, yes. Yes, I do. I do. I, I want to see what that's like. That way we have a baseline. Clapped out, tore up from the floor up. 89.97, new plate number. I like that one. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's see what's up. Yo, check engine light is on. Oil is red. Let's go, dude. All right, let's see how fast we can get it to go. And you'll notice our red line, everybody. It red lines right at about 7,400 RPMs. Take note. This thing feels like it kind of rips. Honestly. All right, we're burying the needle. We're going 220 kilometers. It still feels pretty fast. Honestly, it performs better than I thought it would. For being on, if like, full transparency there. All right, what we need to do Is we need to pause and we need to do a zero to 120 kilometer pull with a timer so we can find out what the deal really is 
All right, I got our timer on screen. What we're gonna do here is we're lined up. I'll show you guys on the map. Um, it's kind of at the back side of this straightaway. It's on this bridge. I've got us dead even with the pole that's kind of next to us. It's dark, so you can't really see it over there too well. Um, at least I can't on my screen, but on a normal, not OLED monitor, you probably see it just fine. Long story short, I'm gonna time a run from here to a sign that's a little ways down, and we're gonna see just how long it takes. And then we're gonna go repair the car, come back bone stock, and just see if a hurt car really does impact, um, you know, performance. So that'll be some fun testing because I have no idea. And then maybe we'll do this with uh, different fuel as well because I've not done that either. So we'll start things off. I have to tab out of the screen. I can't get this game to run in a borderless window mode where I can just leave it on screen the whole time. It's it's being silly. So that being the case. Uh, bear with me while the screen goes black while I tab out. We're going to start the timer. Go back into the game. And when the timer gets to 5, we're going to take off. We're a little slow there, but we'll be alright. Close enough for the video. We're going to try to get up to... We're going to go to this exit sign here. So that was about... 18 seconds-ish. So it took us about eight seconds to get there. That's not too bad. That was a kind of a pull through that area. We're gonna back up. We'll do it again, going backwards on this, to get an idea of what it does. You know, kind of two times. Try to prove the uh, theory here, and then once we've got that, we'll go and fix the car and uh, see if that makes any changes. So we're going from here to the post that's up there. I'll reset the timer. Start it, we'll tab back into the game here. It's about the same. Got a better shift there. Time stops when we hit to the under part of this bridge. Looks like about, about, oh, about eight seconds. Okay, so now we know it takes about eight seconds to do that little run, which is a pull through uh, four of the gears. So that'll give us an idea, kind of a baseline. So let's go fix it. I'm going to jump to the garage. We're going to repair it. And then I'll get back with you guys here and we'll uh, see what we can come up with. All right. So we'll press X to repair the engine. Yo. Fix it. <laughs> cool. Um, oil's good. Engine's fixed. All right, let's go play the video game. All right, we're dead even with the pull. Gonna start the timer, go at five. Took us about eight seconds before. Let's see if we can uh, improve our time now. The car is improved. Well, eight, it was 18 seconds. Uh, that felt like really close to the same, honestly. So, maybe there is going to be some differences later, but I didn't see it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe a little faster. And I mean, just a little, not much. Okay, good to know. We're gonna run out this tank of gas and then we're gonna put 87 octane in it. We'll see if that makes a difference. And I will clip to the end when we're out of gas after I've driven around a little bit so that way uh, you guys don't have to sit here and watch the car drone on while we do that. So be with you in a minute once we're out of fuel. All right, the needle is dipping below the E. We are like running on fumes. This is the hopes and dreams state. This is the teenager that has three bucks in his pocket and is coasting it down the off ramp to the gas pump. It's getting real close, boys. It's getting real close. So let's see. Ooh, fuck. We just keep crashing.
We'll see what it really does if we run it. Oh! That's it. We're out of gas. Apparently the battery shuts off too. And you just coast. You have run out of fuel. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, let's put in 87. And we'll see if that makes a discernible difference in the performance of our car. Alright, we're back at our bridge. We're going to launch here at the 5. Let's see how fast it goes with the 87 octane. Uh, yeah, it, it's hard to tell, mind you, we're only doing a little pull, so I wouldn't know exactly, but it, it seems to me that if it is any faster, it's only a couple of tenths, like, you know, point two of a second or something like that, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, for fuel, that's, you know, great, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't matter. See what it does. Maybe a little quicker. Because I feel like we were kind of like mid 18s before, and now we're like running the very top end of the 17. So it might be worth a couple of tenths. Could be a placebo, but it seems like it. You know, according to like where our little marker is and how long it's taking on the clock, it, it could be pretty close. But regardless, it was fun to test, fun to see what happens when you run out of gas, all that good stuff. A little deep dive. Let's go tune this thing up. We're back in the garage. Let's take our stock Sanus and make it something special. We're about to drop so many million yen on this. We're going to customize. Let's go motor first, and then we'll go exterior. So just most expensive stuff we can get. Air filter prototype in there. Exhaust manifold prototype in there. Yes. Um... So nit nitrous kind of hurts us in this car. We'll definitely overheat it immediately. So I guess we'll do the four shot one. So if we do hit it, it might not kill us. Transmission. So I like the street gearbox, I think. Because we're not really hitting top speed. And I don't mind the straight cut gears. I think they're great. But I kind of want to run around with just the street gearbox for now, just to see, right? Alright, so let's drop a lot of money. 9.6 million yen. And pay for express delivery, so we are into 10 million yen for engine and a street transmission. And we're going to take our car from stock to not, right here. Look at that engine bay. And... Full Papega. Let's go. All right, let's do the handling. Brakes, prototype. Control arms, prototype. Coil lowers, prototype. Sway bars, prototype. Rear sway bars, prototypes. Differential. We're gonna, we're gonna do the race diff. Uh, the steering knuckle you don't need to do because that's for drifting. It just hurts our, our everything. All right. Um. So we're gonna drop 3.1 million yen on our handling. Gonna bring it up to a 5.66, and our braking's gonna go up to a five. That sounds good. Pay another 50k to get it shipped exquisitely super fast, dude. So that's like almost 3.2 million yen. No big deal. Easy clap. And we're gonna go from stock to not. Nice. Now we got the handling done. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Um, tires. We want. Semi slicks. I don't want to do the drags. And then the rims. Um, we're gonna go with something a little different here. I, I like those uh, those like the Advan ones. Um, those are looking nice. I'm such a sucker for the. Oh yeah. You know what? 
those. Those are good. So we got the wheels. We got the tires. Oh, that increased our braking and our handling by doing the tires. So that's good. And we'll pay another 8k to get that rolling. So that's like 66 and some change. We had like 40 million in when we started taking it from stock to not. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Go to low pros. And let's go like super wide boy on these, like 295s. Let's give them some spacers. And then rim size, 18s. Yo. Exterior, to the store. Headlights, I low key kind of like those headlights. Because it's pop up and down headlights. And so I want ones that actually pop up all the way. The little sleepy eye ones are okay. Um, we can do those. I like those. Yeah, yeah, get those prototype ones. Okay. Front bumper, we want something that gives us the most. And so 75 is the most. That is crazy. You know what? We're going to do that because I like the bumper itself. Actually. I'm going to show you guys something here that I learned earlier in a different part of a different video. It kind of has RX7 vibes. We'll do that. Yeah, that's nice. Hood. I don't want to get a carbon hood. I want to stay away from it. Because it does, when you get a carbon hood, your vinyl doesn't show up. And so I, I'd rather sacrifice the, the weight of the car just for a little bit different hood. I like the one with the big hole at the front. Because that would be really functional for forcing air down right in front of the radiator. Yeah. Those latches. Side mirrors. Get some cool ones. I like those. Side skirts. Yo, those are wild. It's a little too wild. I like those because you can see the rivets. Yeah, I can get those. Lots of different rear bumpers. And you can tweak the arrow on the bumpers and stuff. So I'll show you guys that here a little bit. Like, I like the insert, but I don't like the, the diffuser and the big spoilers on the side. So we're going to grab that anyway. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, I like the one with the little cutout right in front of the wheel. That one. Rear lights, something sick. Maybe a little, ooh, I like those. Trunk. I went with that trunk last time. I didn't really like the look of it. I prefer the Hatchie Boy. Um, there's really no graphics coming on the back, so we can do that. And then for the spoiler, we need something that's going to give us the most down for. So we're looking at 275 kg. It's got to have 275 or we don't put it on the car. That one does. Oh, wow. So not all spoilers are created equal. Like, some of them are a little lighter than others. Yeah, we go with that one. Exhaust. So we want to get one that's a little lighter. Big single tip. Yeah, I like that. Roof. Um, that's gonna add weight no matter what we do, but it does have doubles! We have the big one. Roof scoop. It just adds weight, but full propeller. Yeah. Um, I like the carbon doors, but they, the graphic doesn't show up. You can't paint over the carbon. Oh, <gasps> no! We gotta go do it all over again! Oh my god, why did I press B? Oh. Okay. Okay. And through the magic of editing, we're back. And I've got all the parts slapped on the car. So we took off about 33 kilograms. We've added better handling to the car by doing that. And we've added 280 kilograms of downforce. So it's like way better. And we're about to drop $7.2 million. Let's go. With another 260. All right, we're well, in, we're well into it for 7.5 million yen. Not dollars. Yen yen, boys. And we're going to take our car from bone stock to absolutely not. Looks tight. I love it. So, one thing I want to show you. Now that we're here, right bumper. You can edit this stuff, guys. Check this out. So, you, the, the little fins on the side there, you can take them off. So, I, the badge, you can put the badge on and off right there on the hood. Blinkin' at you. Take the badge off. Take that side arrow off. Get rid of the damn tow hook. License plate placement. Um, on the side, definitely. Super tight. All right, cool. We're done here. I like that. That looks good. Um, right shoulder, edit part. Hood pins. You can turn them on or off if you, if you care. Uh, I rather like the hood pins, so we're going to keep them. But it's just really neat. So like the front fender... We can edit that, and you can make the side light be there or not. So we're going to turn it off, because I like that. We're kind of like cleaning up the car a little bit here. And then the side skirts, we're going to take the arrow off it. It does remove the rivets, which I kind of liked on there, but it just cleans them up a little bit. So we'll do that. And then uh, there's nothing to do on the rear fenders. 
Now the rear bumper, this is like, remember I was telling you guys, I didn't like, I liked the insert, excuse me, the insert, but I didn't like um, the diffuser. So I, I like that part of the arrow, I like that insert there, but I didn't like the big diffuser that was under it. So we're gonna do that parts, but we still have all the arrow benefits and the boons that came with that. So that's really good, I like that a lot. So we've still got all of our downforce and everything, but we're not locked into having that crazy like time attack look on the car, which is pretty cool. Uh, still unable to do front end swaps. We will now dig into the interior. It's time to go full Propega. Let's buy everything. All right, for the interior. Main, it's already in the car. Um, no. Subwoofer and speakers, do we want to do like full need for speed unbound? You know, I stripped it out last time for the weight reduction, but I'm talking, I'm talking subs this time in this car. This is gonna be, this is gonna be like our show car, dude. Yo, that sounds great. All right, so for our floor mats, let's put in some cool ones. Uh, we're gonna put in the, the Bride Pride. Uh, like, like the Lomax right here. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, uh, Bride Lomax. Yeah, we're gonna put those in. Tandem Street. Cool. Can I choose the color? That'd be neat. Can't? Okay. Um, Dish. Um, yeah, let's put in that. That dash is nice. Steering wheel. Let's get a nice wheel in here. You know what we went with last time? I think that is cool. Let's do that one. Gages. We need to put a big tack up there. I think this time we'll do blue. Blue would be cool. Not green, 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 green. Um, I'm gonna do a triple pot over where we can see it, because I prefer being able to like have them up there. That, that's, I've always liked like, that look. I mean, they're, it's flush when they're in the vents and stuff like that, but just having them mounted up there is, I don't know, something about the aesthetic of like, these are aftermarket and in your face, but now hey, there's like a little GPS boy kind of sitting there. Uh, stock radio, as soon as we get, as soon as we get this, that little, like, air fuel mixture thing or tuner, that disappears. Is there any option here that brings that back? That, lower, that lowers the weight there, that's kind of cool. Double gen head unit, oh, that was our flip up screen. Yo, we got a flip up screen. Oh, it comes back, it came back, it came back, dude, that's cool! Alright, side pillow gauges, three pod for sure, and we do it in the green. Steering column gauges, we need a new speedometer up there. I'm doing green. And then gear shifter, we're gonna get a really cool one. Um, it's so cringe. <laughs> we're gonna run it anyway. Handbrake, now this is necessary. If you guys watched the long form video I did, uh, that brake is like the difference between you having a good brake or not. Now we gotta get the last set here, the Aeromax prototype, which is super close to what sits behind me. I love that. I like to be able to point back to that same chair. Uh, it, it's, it's tight, it's tight. Um, we're not gonna worry about the passenger seat, because I'm gonna. No, it's a show car, it's a show car, it's a show car. That's right, that's right. This is, we would, we'd pick up my wife and take her for a ride this thing. She'd be like, all about it, right? M maybe. In my heart, she would be. In my heart, she would be like, yeah, maybe I'll go for a ride with you. Yeah, absolutely, your car's so cool. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, uh, door card, get some cool ones. I think that if I was going showpiece, I'd probably do a little bit of carbon fiber in the dome. Um, you know, roll cage? I think I'd do a little half cage like that. That'd be cool. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's, like, just a little back half cage. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. I'm with that. All right, how much I got to pass this? Another 3.4, like, okay, well, yeah, we're 4 million yen on this one. So we took a lot of weight out. Holy shit. That's a huge weight reductions. And our handling went all the way to 10. That's tight. Yeah, of course we'll pay 160 extra grand. All right, we're out here. Dude, this is getting pricey. Our car is getting up there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Interior goes from pretty stock, pretty clean, to absolutely cracked and custom. Dude, that's tight. Oh, yeah. I like the way this car is coming along. It's looking really good. It's crime. It's a crime against humanity to paint those wheels. They, you you can't paint the RFP ones. You just can't. Dump it. Yeah. And then we gotta we gotta give it some camber, right? That's that's too much. That's too much. I'll, I'll meet you guys at four degrees. I'll be honest. We might have to take that livery off. That livery is looking pretty rough, dude. Yeah. It's got that flush look. That's pretty cool. That's nice. That's nice. I like it. All right. Our car is all done up. It's ready to go. Let's go not lose any races in it, okay? All right, about two hours, three hours left of night. Endless appeal territory. What? Oh, that's the parking area record. Okay, I was like, no, dude. This car is zero and zero right now. It's it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's so tight. Um, oh, he's the boss. Can I can I call the boss? Yo, let's go, boss. Let's go. Tunnel Rats, boss. 
Pop up, up and down headlights! Pop up, up and down headlights! Ooh, I love that. It's my favorite feature. All right, somebody was telling me that if you hold handbrake and then hold the accelerator, it goes into like a two-step. No, it just... There's no two-step here. We were trying to hold a handbrake and just see what happened. I don't, I don't think that was going to work. The little port just pretty quick, man. Apparently, this is the way to go. I hope this is the way to go. Sure wasn't saying much. But he went this way, so it's got to be the way, right? Is this the way? Is this the way? This wasn't the way. I hate it when this happens. I don't think we can catch him up either. Man, eh, we'll restart. Oh my god, 1.3 for a restart. Holy shit, dude. That's like 10% of our money. <laughs> oh, our car's about to overheat, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one of them. There he is, there he is, though. We're going to stay in it. Oh my god. What a terrible experience, dude! Oh my god! Damn it! <laughs> it's, it's not it's not going fast because it's already hot. You wiped out. There's hope, dude. I mean, everything's hot. Everything's hot. The water temperature's up. The oil temperature's up. My blood pressure is up. Oh, no. And now he passes. Oh, my God. Oh, no, dude. No, no. Not like this. Not like this. We should have sat at the starting line longer. We're just going to push through. We're going to try to blow it up. We're going to push. And if I use a shot of NOS, I use a shot of NOS. Whatever we need to do to win, boys. Oh, God. It's so slow, guys. It's so slow. And we're not catching him. Somehow he teleported somewhere. Somehow we won. There's a miracle. It's a miracle. Jesus is watching. We're okay. How did we win? He went the wrong way? Uh, we're gonna let this play out. I'm convinced that my car is overheated right now, and we're just gonna let it sit. We're gonna burn him down, he's gonna finish his smoke, we're gonna take a drink, we're gonna let the car chill. You can't pressure me into starting this race. Nope, nope, nope. You just hit your smoke, dude. We're chilling, dude. We're chilling, dude. He, he's ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. We're chilling, we're chilling. Gun it. Yo, it is hot, but not as hot as it was. We were like a little over mid. A little over half. We shouldn't have won that one. Yeah, that was a miracle from Jesus. Yo, this is not working out super good. Yo, dude. I thought he was going to smash into us. Turns out that was not the case. Are we catching him? How are we not catching him? We're like in top gear. Oh, I see his headlights up there. We are catching him. Yo. Yo, this is gonna be incredible. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> we got him! We got him! Yes, dude! Yes! Oh, well, it was so clutch! Woo! We came around and we were flying to Just. Ah, man. What a move. What a tremendous victory that was. You know, you would think that if you're getting all these prototype parts and shit, that we could put proper cooling. Like, prototype cooling, put two of those in there. Like, we could double stack a radiator or get an ultra thick one, a little bit bigger intercooler, um, you know, bigger oil cooler, bigger oil pan, better pump. 
run water wetter or engine ice instead of, you know, coolant. Like, there's got to be some things we could do. Run uh, methanol with the turbo. Oh, no. Oh, maybe that's a strat. Maybe I did that on purpose so our car could cool longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was the plan. Look at our temp, though. Our temp was below half. Losing a little bit of rev. Ooh, okay, nerd. Let's just do drifty, boys. How he crashed so early? This is straight away. Oh, there's a the finish. There's a the finish. There's a the finish. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. If you see a gap that you don't go for. Yo! Oh no, dude, no. no. Fuck! Oh my god, it's coming down to it, dude! Oh, this is a sweat! This is a sweat! This boss is. This is the most trouble I've had in a long time. Flash the lights. Put me in, coach. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll finish on an overheated car. I don't give a fuck. I can't believe. We did not, like, make that gap. You thought we were going the other way? Uh, oh, no, dude. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta drive perfect. We gotta go so fast. If we would've got hung up on that car, we had no chance. We're out of gas? No shot. If we run out of gas, uh, that's it. Um, we're f the gameplay. The session's over. Like we're, we're done. <laughs> we'll start start a new. Oh my God! No, don't run us out of gas. We can't run out of gas. It's impossible. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, we're slowing down so much. He finished. He finished, dudes. Let's, Let's go, go not, not losing races, 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 okay? okay. <laughs> this this car, car is zero, 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 zero. It's, it's, it's perfect. Beautiful. I was doing, and now that I know what I'm doing, I want a chassis with a perfect win record. Yo, they got a bunch of rep from that too. Oh my god. <laughs> what a terrible racing night. You guys have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye bye. Such a pretty car. Dude. No.